Hello friends, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, we will make a very practical project related to an automatic backup light. In our area, power cuts are very rare and they usually last only 5 to 10 minutes. Because of this, I don't want to spend money on a full inverter system. Instead, I am going to use a DPDT relay and here I am going to use this same LED strip as a backup light during the power cut. Now when the mains power goes off, the relay will automatically connect the LED light to a small backup battery. And here you can see the LED strip automatically turns on after the power cut. Now when the mains power comes back, the relay will switch the LED strip light back to the normal power. It's a simple, low cost and useful project to get uninterrupted lighting during short power cut. And here I have made a complete circuit on the Zero PCB and during the video I have also explained how the circuit works. So after watching the complete video anyone can make this project for your home. These are the required components. Here I have used DPDT relay to provide complete isolation between the DC supply and battery. Now we have to connect all these components as per this circuit. The circuit is very simple, anyone can make it and I will also explain how the circuit works later on in the same video. Now to make the circuit compact, I have designed this PCB using the Altium PCB designer software. This video is sponsored by Altium which is the most trusted PCB designer software by all the big electronic companies. With Altium you can easily search for components, compare the datasheet and it has a lot of useful features that will save you a lot of time while routing any complex PCB. Now Altium has come up with an amazing product called Altium 365. Altium 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAT, data management and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can not only design PCBs, you can also share your projects with your teammates for review. It also provides automatic backup, centralized cloud storage and a lot more. There are many tutorials available on Altium so you can easily learn this software and use it to design professional PCBs. And you can download the Altium Designer free trial with Altium 365 from the link in the description. So please visit the link in the description, sign up for the Altium, it's a limited time offer so please hurry up. Now here we are going to use this PCB, you can download the GABA file from the video description. But if you want to make the circuit on the Zero PCB, you can download the PCB layout again from the description. Then print it on a A4 page as per the dimension mentioned on the layout. Then paste the layout on a Zero PCB. After that, place all the components one by one on the Zero PCB as per the PCB layout. Then you have to connect the components as per the bottom layout. Here you can see you can easily refer the bottom layout to solder all the components together as per the circuit. After that our PCB is now ready. Now we have to connect the battery, DC supply and the load according to the circuit. Now you can short these two terminal with the wire but here I am going to connect a resistance in series. As here I am using a 14 volt lithium phosphate battery and as a load I am going to use 12 volt DC LED. So to save this LED from the high current I am connecting a resistance in series. You can also connect a switch so that you can control the LED while supplying the LED from battery. The DC supply is not on. So this LED is glowing from the battery. Now let me turn on the supply. Now as soon as I turn on the DC supply, the green LED turns on. Now LED is getting the supply from the DC supply. So if I disconnect the battery, you can see still the LEDs are on. Now let me turn off the supply. As the battery is not connected, the LED turned off. If I connect the battery again, you can see the LED turns on again, although the DC supply is off. Now let me turn on the supply. Now it is again taking the supply from the DC supply. Now let me quickly explain how this circuit works. 
here you can see the 12 volt dc supply is connected across the ino terminal of the dpdt relay and we are giving the same supply across the relay coil so if the 12 volt dc supply is available the relay will turn on and the common terminal of the relay will get connected with the ino terminal and here you can see the load in this case the led is connected across the common terminal so now the led will get supply from this 12 volt dc supply and also this led will turn on if that supply is available now if i turn off the dc supply here you can see the relay will turn off as we are not giving any supply to the relay coil so the common terminals of the relay will connected with the nc terminal of the relay and across the nc terminal i have connected the battery so now the led will get supply from the battery and it will remain turned on and here i have used the resistance to limit the current for the led if you already have a current limiter in led then you can also connect a switch to turn on and off the led while supplying from the battery now if i turn on the dc supply again again the relay will turn on common will get connected with the ino terminal then led will get the supply from the dc source thus we have completely isolated the dc supply circuit from battery using this dpdt relay here you can see i have placed the complete circuit inside this box now let me connect it with the dc source and the led now if i turn off the complete supply here you can see let me turn off the complete supply you can see the led strip automatically turn on and when the powers come back let me turn on the supply again it now taking the supply from the dc source as i said you can also connect any other 12 volt dc load with this backup circuit and you can also make the circuit using spdt relay which is not recommended because you have to use common ground so to provide complete isolation between battery circuit and dc supply circuit i have used dpdt relay so if you find this project helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day